Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the public hearing. Will the clerk please call the roll? Susanna, the mayor. Here. Councillor Enright. Here. Councillor Myers. Here. Councillor Todd. Here. Councillor Walker. Here. Councillor Barlow. Here. Councillor Van Buren. Here. Councillor Kaplan. Here. Thank you. Um, tonight's public hearing is regarding the City of Oswego Housing Choice Voucher Program, five year plan, 2015 to 2019. Uh, Ms. Van Owens, would you state your name, your address, and uh, tell us what's on your mind? Good quality housing uh, that uh, is inspected every year to meet housing quality standards as defined by HUD. Um, the five-year action plan will uh, continue this program uh, for the next five years. And uh, as far as our goals and objectives, our goals are to expand the supply of available affordable housing units. Uh, to maximize the use of program funds to assist as many families as feasible uh, based on budget authority, uh, to improve specific management functions, improve the quality of assisted housing, promote participant self-sufficiency and asset development, particularly through the Family Self-Sufficiency Program. Uh, we have had 15 families graduate from the Rental Assistance Program. That means that their income was raised to such a point that they no longer were eligible for the program. And uh, in many cases, they were able to afford a home or to um, assist with other family needs once they graduated from the Family Self-Sufficiency Program. Another goal uh, is to increase assisted housing choices and to ensure equal opportunity and affirmatively uh, further fair housing in our community. Um, the Department of Housing and Urban Development only provides funding for programs that assist low moderate income uh, throughout the country. So we have a very high performing agency. Uh, we, our average over the last 10 years has been at 102 uh, percent. So I would um, recommend that we continue to fund this program over the next five years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Van Ellis. Is there anyone else who would like to uh, address the assembly? Mr. Becker. Thank you, My name is Miles Becker. I live in the third ward. The only thing I can comment on that is who's going to pay the taxes? Thank you. Anyone else would like to comment? Seeing none, could I have a motion to uh, adjourn? Councilor Kaplitz, Councilor Van Buren. Please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 The public hearing is adjourned. Uh, we will now begle uh, begin the public session. As of uh, 7.15, no one has signed up to speak in the uh, public session. Is there anyone here who would like to make any comments? Seeing none, uh, we will adjourn this until the regular meeting starts until 7.30. Thank you. Could everyone please be seated? I'd like to begin this meeting. Can you please rise and pledge of allegiance?
clerk, please call the roll. His Honor the Mayor. Here. Councilor Enright. Here. Councilor Myers. Here. Councilor Todd. Here. Councilor Walker. Here. Councilor Barlow. Here. Councilor Van Buren. Here. Councilor Kaplow. Here. All present, Your Honor. Thank you. Under the uh, Mayor's report, it's that uh, a time of the year that uh, NICOM, the New York Conference of Mayors, recognizes public service for city employees with 25 or more years of service. And this year we've got quite a few from our fire department, DPW, uh, police department, traffic department, water, and wastewater. Uh, I know some of those people are in attendance this evening. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call <coughs> all the names of the people. And those that are here can, can come up and, and get their certificate. Uh, Ms. Uh, oh, there you are. Uh, will be with us to, uh, to celebrate this. So from the fire department, we have Donald Dowd, the second. Uh, 25 years of service. James McCleary, 35 years of service. From the Department of Public Works, David Fields, 25 years. Bartley Ford, 35 years. Guard Nierbin, 30 years. Anthony Spatero, 35 years. William Dexter Jr., 35 years. And uh, Matthew McLean, 25 years. Uh, from the uh, Police Department and Traffic, we have Lionel Earl, 35 years. Richard Nelson, 40 years. Uh, um, from the Water Department, Thomas Clark, 35 years. And Thomas Delaney, 25 years. And from Wastewater, Michael Byrne, 25 years. David Gills, 30 years. And Douglas Sackman, 30 years. So for those that are here, let's give them a round of applause. I do have a uh, proclamation as well. Uh, this is regarding Domestic uh, Violence Awareness Month, which is the month of October 2014. Is there anyone here? I thought so. Okay. I'm going to read this proclamation and you can come up. I'll hand it to you and we can uh, have a photograph taken. All right. The Domestic Violence Awareness Month, October 2014, whereas domestic violence is widespread and devastating to society as a whole, but particularly women and children, and whereas one in four women will experience domestic violence during her lifetime, and whereas more than three women a day are murdered by their current or former husband or boyfriend, and whereas more than 15 million children are exposed to domestic violence and battering every year, and whereas domestic violence costs $8.3 billion in annual expenses as a result of higher medical costs and lost productivity, and whereas SAF, the Sioux County's Domestic Violence and Rape Crisis Center, served more than 750 clients last year. However, crimes of domestic and sexual violence continue to be vastly underreported. And whereas the problem of domestic violence is not confined to any group of people, but crosses all economic, racial, gender, educational, religious, and societal barriers. And whereas violence against women and children is a prevalent social ill due to the historical imbalance of power and gender in an age 
Now, therefore, I, Thomas W. Gillen, Mayor of the City of Oswego, on behalf of the entire City Council, do hereby proclaim the month of October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month and urge all citizens to observe this month by working as individuals and as a community to support victims and survivors in their healing and finding safety and promoting accountability among batterers and abusers. We must stand up and say no more to domestic violence. So I will present this to you, ladies. Now, any of the councillors have any reports, any comments, observations? Seeing none, will the clerk please call resolution 425? Resolution 425 would approve the minutes of the Chemical Council meeting held September 22nd, 2014. Councillor Enright, Councillor Van Buren. Any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 426. Resolution 426. Councilor Walker and Councilor Myers. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 427. Resolution 427. Councillor Enright. Councillor Todd. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 428. Resolution 428 would accept the donation of the Barlow. Councillor Barlow and Councillor Enright. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 429. Councilor Myers, Councilor Van Buren, any discussion? Yes, Councilor Enright. Yeah, I just want to uh, mention that these uh, new park benches they're putting in are absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. and they're they're dressing up the parks. And uh, I'll save my comment to the the last donation here, but also these uh, the flower beds that came up. Are looking beautiful, so uh, I just say keep up the good work. Any other comments? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 430. Councilor Barlow, Council Kapowitz. Any discussion? Councilor Barlow. Just want to thank the ORA for uh, giving King Street Park some attention. It's going to really, really uh, upgrade the park and be a nice improvement. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 
Let's call resolution 431. Kapowitz, I second. Councillor Van Buren, any discussion? No comments? Yes, Councillor Todd. Curious, we just got this that mentions it for Comments from the council? Councilor Kapowitz. I have a question, and maybe Mr. Nelson can answer it. Can a plan that's been approved be uh, modified over the course of the, of the uh, five years? Uh, okay, Councilor Van Buren. Uh, <clears throat> I was actually going to kind of answer that with my uh, proposition with Councilor Todd. I, I remember him making these comments. I believe Mr. Nelson said specifically that it had to be done by council resolution. <clears throat> Since the meeting uh, that Councilor Todd brought this up at was after we had already scheduled the public hearing, so this can't be amended because we have to vote on this as it is because we just held the public hearing. Uh, I would suggest uh, if this is the direction that the council would like to go in that we would vote no on this and authorize a new public hearing with the proposals uh, that Mrs. Van Alst <coughs> is now made aware of involved in those. If that's the direction that we're looking to move into, then that's what needs to be done. So we could either table or uh, vote no on this and request that a new one be brought up. So it's, uh, I leave it in I leave it in your hands. Are there any other councilors want to weigh in on this? Well, yes, Councilor Kaplowitz. Yes, Your Honor. And the question still is: it Can if you vote on a five-year plan now, can that five-year plan be amended? Over time, or or does it, or is this the plan that will be in place for the next five years? No, I don't no, no, no. I, I um, no. Didn't. Yeah, I mean, you could probably pass it and amend it, but I, I'd have to defer to Mrs. Van Ouse to uh, see if that's going to affect the funding or anything like that. I, I believe if she got this through a grant, that's probably based on what she wrote into the grant. I don't know how that's going to affect it. Um, I, I think. You know, the probably best way is to reschedule a public hearing and everything to get it redone to the direction that you want to. Funds can always be returned. Okay. So if I understand you correctly, we're suggesting we have a public hearing. Is it? If we, it's not suggesting we have to. Um, All right. Any other comments? Please call the roll. No. 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 Please call resolution 432. Councilor Todd. Yeah, you gotta introduce. Uh, Council Todd can be the first motion. I'll be the second. I'm sorry. I'll be the first motion. Okay. Proceed. All right. Second. Um, so yeah, for the further discussion phase, uh, I would like to state that uh, during the committee when this was brought forward to schedule this public hearing, uh, Mrs. Van Ouse was asked to provide the council uh, in its entirety the climate action plan um, via email or some other uh, way, so that the entire council could go over it, and that was not done. <clears throat> so I won't be supporting this uh, until everyone has had a chance to do that. All right. I, I think that's that sound judgment. Uh, we've got to vote on something we haven't had the chance to read. I, I certainly don't question the uh, the value of a climate action plan. 
I mean, I support it. Uh, but, uh, I certainly understand the value, but it, again, you know, this seems to be the communication issue that we're having. We continually ask for better communication when the state just told us that we need better oversight of that office, and again, we're ignored. So it, it seems to be a running theme with that office. Okay. So that was a motion to table? We have to, we have to do it now. Make a motion to table. Second. I make the motion. Two seconds to the vote. No, no, no. I was just, I was discussing because I wanted to talk. Because once he makes the motion, you can't discuss anymore. So I wanted to discuss before Todd made his motion to table. So now, anybody else want to discuss before Todd makes his motion? Do it now. And Any other councilors? Ready, Councilor Todd. Yes, yeah. Councilor Van. Yeah, I, I agree with uh, Councilor Van Buren. I, I just got this tonight. I just want to have a chance to look it over to know what I'm voting on. Mm -hmm. That's all. So I, I, I agree with you. I think, I think you know, the history of this program and, and mm -hmm. is a good thing. I just want to look over how all the things from perspective to the city applies. So uh, I agree. So I support the table. Yes, Councilor. Second the Council. table. The table. Who's yes to table. Yes. Yes to table. Yes to table. Yes to table. Yes. To table. yes. Yes to table. Let's call resolution 433. Resolution 433 would authorize a public hearing regarding local law number three of the year 2014 in the local law amendment chapter 108 select code standards of the code of the city of Oswego, New York. Councilor Van Buren. Second, Councilor uh, Kaplowitz. Is there any discussion? Yes, Councilor Todd. We've gotten a lot of feedback on this. Again, this proposed change isn't something that we came up with. This is something the state is mandating on us. We can choose not to pass it, but a couple things could happen. A, if we don't pass it and these inspections aren't done, and it's pretty much unenforceable. Once you get a search warrant, nobody can come in and inspect it. However, that being said is that if you do electrical work on your house, and you have a fire, or you have some kind of problem, and an insurance agency now comes in and does an inspection and realizes that there are electrical modifications done, and you didn't have an inspection done, they can choose not to pay you. To take that a step further, if you have a business or a rental, and you do inspect or you do electrical changes, and you don't do an inspection on it, and somebody is hurt in a fire in your house, could face criminal charges. Again, this is another problem with the state passing mandates onto us. The state passed this onto us and said, you guys must institute this. We don't really have a choice if the state says it's gotta be in there. There's really no way to enforce it. I mean, again, it's like rental inspections. Unless you have a court order, you can't go in and see it. However, if you don't do it, an insurance company comes in and does it after you've had an issue with a fire or something, then is, that's the time you're gonna probably have problems. And I think this is kind of a silly law. There's a ton of people in, in there that, in the city that can do their own electrical work and now tell them that they've got a mandate that they've got to have somebody come in and, and do an inspection on it. Every time we turn on the TV or hear about how we're trying to make New York State job friendly, this doesn't make New York State job friendly. However, the state mandated on our, uh, upon us, and we don't have any choice on doing it. If we don't put it in, we face liability if we don't have it. I think it's pretty pointless, but I don't see how we got any other way around it to pass it. Councilor Van Buren. I agree with a lot of the points Councilor Todd made. Um, <clears throat> just to expand a little bit on some of it, I think this is a good uh, first step into uh, getting up to snuff with our electrical codes. This gives us some discretion while still uh, putting in some of the state laws. We don't want to get into a situation where we're requiring stamped electrical plans for every single job, but we would like to have the discretion that when those things do come up, that there's some major commercial work being done. Those are the type of things that we require to stay in compliance with the state. Uh, you know, I think this is still friendly to homeowners and uh, landlords. They, they can still do their own work. Um, I think having a master electrician do an inspection isn't anything that's going to harm anyone. I understand that it, it does cost a little bit of money, but it, I think for the safety factor and what it does for our insurance and those type of things, it, it needs to be done. Um, I think 
that by passing this, we're, we're taking a good step forward to getting up to where we need to be with electrical code. We, we don't want to go in full steam and put in things that people just can't handle, but I think baby steps at this point to get us back to where we need to be with our codes is important. Thank you. Any other comments from Council? Yes, Council Kaplitz. Yeah, I, I, I've received some uh, texts and emails. I'm sure everyone else has too on this issue, and it certainly brings up some um, Councillor Todd articulated ab about the uh, being business friendly, and it really puts a burden on on uh, some of our bur uh, some of our businesses. But uh, certainly, uh, Councillor Van Buren artic also articulates very well the fact that this is a, there's a liability issue here, and when the state compels the city to make changes, and uh, we don't, we set ourselves up for potential liability as well. So, um, what we're looking to do here tonight is actually. Uh, authorize a public hearing so we can have a discussion of uh, you know two-week dialogue on this and, and hopefully at that time uh, hear from some residents and other businesses about the impact and also have a chance to get some questions answered ourselves that uh, I still have in my mind that uh, we don't uh, I want to see clearly where uh, where the state code uh, does impose this on us and I also want to understand more fully what some of the costs are that are going to be, you know, what will a master electrician, for example, charge to uh, uh, take a look at an entire building and, and uh, whatever whatever's been done. I think I think we need to look carefully what those costs are and how they're going to um, impose upon those that are operating businesses. And I certainly hope that as residents, we don't. Uh, if I want to change my own electrical outlet or uh, a light switch, you know, I still want to make sure that I I still have that that right to do that without calling somebody in to make sure that I hook the two wires up the right way. So um, anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll support the public hearing, but I really hope that we have a lot more dialogue in this one. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, Councilor Enright. Yeah, I just want to, I agree with uh, Councilor Kaplowitz and Van Buren about this. And I believe we're all heading down the path of consistency in city government. And uh, this, this goes right along uh, the way with this. And, uh, you know, I agree that uh, uh, that uh, we need to look at exactly what uh, restrictions this will go impose on a homeowner. But from what I read, it looks like uh, the homeowner will be able to change a light switch or or, or, or a light fixture without having things inspected. Uh, yet it's going to protect the people and uh, you know the kids that come into apartments and and, and, and I think the public would feel safe. They know that that. that if there have been changes, it's been done to code, it's been inspected, and, and you're not going to find extension cords running around and fire hazards. And, and this is all we're looking to do, and I, and I think this goes a long way towards that goal. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 434. Resolution 434 would authorize the mayor to sign change order number three with WB Malone Trucking and Excavating Incorporated for project modification to the combined sewer rehabilitation of first and second level. Councilor Myers. Councilor Barlow. Any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Councilor Van Buren? Yeah. Councilor Kepler? Yes. Councilor Yes. Councilor Myers? Yes. 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 Please call resolution 435. Resolution 435 would authorize the mayor to enter into a renewal agreement with Hunt Underwater Specialties Incorporated for maintenance services at the water intake structure and tunnel. Thank you, Kaplowitz. Councilor Todd. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 436. Councilor Kaplowitz, Councilor Myers, is there any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 
Okay. Let's call resolution 437. Councilor Van Buren. Councilor Myers. Any discussion? Councilor Van Buren. I just want to say thank you to the Chief for thinking creatively and opening this up to other municipalities in the area to offset the cost. I think it's a great idea and it helps the surrounding areas as well as, as, well as us to have code technicians brought up to speed or certified so that uh, it doesn't cost as much to send people to training. I want to say thank you for that. Yeah, any other comments? I'd like to second that too. I think Chief McCovey's done a remarkable job of, of looking for options and, and uh, how to get more done with less. And I, I applaud him for that. Um, so if there's no other comments, we'll please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 438. Councillor Farlow and Councillor Enright. Discussion. Councillor Enright. Yeah, I want to uh, thank the, uh, uh, the, the councillors and the uh, and, and the public. Actually, I received several phone calls and messages on my phone machines and emails in support of this and, and the city. And uh, like I've, I've made comments before, I think this has been a long time coming. And again, it, 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 it goes in consistency with our policy and, and, and transparency. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, sir. Any other comments? Councilor Capitalist. Yes, Your Honor. It was very apparent over the last couple of weeks that, uh, <coughs> you know, we've had this policy uh, together for some time now. It's actually been, I think, around four years that we implemented the policy for how we were going to sell property. In fact, uh, at that point, we uh, also uh, developed a contract, and uh, we now have it with uh, another uh, real estate agent. We've, we've actually shopped that around a little bit to get the best price we could for the way we dispose of property. The one thing that we didn't think about when we put this thing together, we always thought about what was in the best interest of the taxpayers and how do we maximize the revenue from foreclosed properties that uh, the city yeah, we don't want to be in the real estate business, but uh, we are by, because that's the way it is, and they come back to the city and then we have to dispose of them. The one thing that we didn't think about was what about those properties that we decide we weren't going to put on the open market? And that's kind of where we caught ourselves in a little bit of a catch-22, and I think what this policy does is it very, very clearly states that any property that we sell will be uh, fully appraised and uh, put through our realtor, which is only fair to, our, to those that were, are representing us as well. Uh, we're paying them to do the job, and uh, it doesn't matter whether we've officially listed it or not, we'll have a process in place that uh, provides for full transparency and gives us the knowledge so that we can make a good decision if that, that uh, is in the best interest of this city and its taxpayers. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Any other comments? Hearing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 439. Resolution 439 is residential funding from the Oakwood Special Rehabilitation. Councilor Barlow and Councilor Myers. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 440. Councilor Myers and Councilor Walker. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 441. Councilor Van Buren, Councilor Kapowitz. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 
Please call resolution 442. Councillor Kaplowitz. Is there any discussion? Any members? Yes. Councillor Kaplowitz? Yes. Councillor Yes. 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 Please call resolution 443. Councilor Van Buren, Councilor Enright, is there any discussion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 444. Councilor Kaplowitz, Councilor Van Buren, any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 445. Resolution 445 approves the validated license plate under Lake 14. Councilor Myers and Councilor Todd. Is there any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 446. Councilor Myers, Councilor Van Buren. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Please call resolution 447. Resolution 447. Todd. Second Councilor Van Buren. Is there any discussion? Yes, I'd like to abstain. Real conflict of interest. Thank you. Any other comment? Seeing none, please call the roll. Councilor Van Buren? Yes. Councilor Kaplowitz? Yes. Councilor Myers? Yes. Councilor Myers? No. Councilor Van Buren? Yes. Councilor Todd? No. Call resolution 448. Council Myers, Council Kaplowitz. Any discussion here? Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Call resolution 449. Council Enright, Council Kaplowitz. Discussion? Hearing none, please call. Oh, I'm sorry, Councilor Enright. Yes, this is the, uh, uh, what we're talking about is the sale of, of real property this, that the city accepted a bid on. And uh, I brought this up, uh, I wanted it for further discussion. And uh, I just wanted to uh, let the public know this is, that's what this, res this is for. Any other comments? Seeing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 
Please call resolution 450. We have to. No, we have to vote no to stop the sale of the transaction. Which we just did. Which we just did. No, we voted to reconsider 420B. Now we have to vote no if you're in favor of following the policy. We have to vote no to the sale of the property. That's why we have to go back and stop what we did. We can't violate policy by voting. Mike, we, we voted before the policy was in place. Technically, there was a policy. Now there is new language in that policy. We now have to vote to abide by our policy. So now we have to rescind what we did. And because of the way it happened, we now have to vote to reconsider. Done. Now vote to sell, sell the property stick with the policy, a no vote will not sell the property. Okay. If you vote yes, you are in favor of transferring the property. Okay. Just so everyone understands, okay. no to rescind the property and put it back in the city so that it can be listed. Yes, if you want to continue transferring the property. Alright. We have a motion. I thought we were discussing. Cap and I made the motion, yep. so now we're discussing. Call the roll. Oh, can you hear the <laughs> 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 Never mind. Mike wants to say something real quick. Through, through, through you, Your Honor, I, I appreciate this. Is uh, okay. So a no vote is that we don't violate the new policy that we just voted. Correct, gentlemen? Yes. Thank right. You. Okay. That's, all, that's all I need to know. Any that was other the question I had, right? Like. <laughs> okay. And we're around again. So yes, Mr. Okay. Which technically isn't a policy until the mayor signs the resolution. So. All right. Mike. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? <coughs> <Have I missed? coughs> Please call the roll. No. 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 
No. Thank you. Uh, I see no other uh, resolutions. Is there any unfinished business? We still have one more resolution. One more resolution. 450. Which one is that? 450. 450. And I'll move it, Your Honor. Okay. Second. Second. Councilor Henley. I uh, might want to have our clerk read it, though. I'm sorry. Can you our clerk may want to read it for the. Yes, for that the, would be a good idea. For the folks that in the audience and at home. It would be appropriate <laughs> to put it in the minutes. Resolution 450 would authorize. Already did it. Just discussion and call discussion. it off. Vote. We have discussion. Sorry, Sorry to bring this up. We got 108 East 6th Street. Can we add that to it? 8 East 6th? 108, 108. East 6th. Is that the. Uh, yes. St. Paul. St. Paul. Okay. I'd just like to amend that and put that in there if we could too. Um, we, we didn't approve the sale of that property, though, right? No, no. no. Of of the sale of it. Yeah. Well, no. So now, since we did nothing with it, we've accepted no offers. Right. We have to list it. Correct. So it doesn't need to be amended. That we don't need to add it. It's a property that we now have to abide by that policy. So if there's any offers pending, they're ignored, and it has to be put on the market when we're ready. So there's no need to add properties to it. All pro all city properties are now in this policy. Very Okay. Any other questions, gentlemen? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. I just believe I didn't the last resolution of the evening. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Councilor Todd and Councilor Enright. Please call the roll. Yes. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Meeting is adjourned.